Just talking about the art museum, if the cold weather and the storm coming have you longing for a little bit of an escape, the newest exhibit there will definitely give you what you're looking for. From Andy Warhol to Jackson Pollock, the Albright Knox is known for filling its galleries with groundbreaking works by revolutionary artists. Once we have identified a great artist, be it a Pollock or a Rothko or a Clifford Still, we follow their careers. We kind of become partners in life and in creative acts. Now that more than 25 years have passed since the gallery acquired its first piece by German artist Anselm Kiefer, New director Yanni Siren knew it was time to add a couple more. Much has happened in the world since 1988. Berlin Wall went down, Soviet Union collapsed, 9-11 happened. So it's interesting to take a pulse and a beat from an artist, you know, who has been with us for many decades and to see where he is, he is now. There are three larger-than-life landscapes in the exhibit, two of which are here to stay. The sheer size of Kiefer's landscapes are clearly part of their appeal. The center one of the exhibit weighs 1,600 pounds and is 20 feet tall. Even if there was an airplane big enough to ship it, it could never make it through the museum doors all in one piece. There is a lot of uh, sort of operational parts to the moving of a piece from uh, a village outside of Paris to Buffalo that. Uh, can't even be disclosed publicly because it's such uh, sort of sensitive material. Uh, but ultimately, uh, there may be occasions when uh, residents of Western New York will see uh, a truck parked outside the Albright Knox and a large crane actually hoisting these crates into the building. That's uh, how they enter uh, these <laughs> hallowed halls. With dimensions like these, on top of intense detail found in the layers of paint, and eye-popping texture that's dying to be touched, the Kiefer's are a lot to take in. What we've done is we have placed one work in one large gallery. So when you come here, there are comfortable seats in which you can just sort of kick back and let your eye uh, meander through the landscape in front of you. You can almost think of it as, uh, as a sim cinematographic screen. Only here, you become the producer and director. You narrate many of the things that happen in that landscape. The hope here is that the paintings will speak to people and that gallery goers will be inspired to write down what they take away. We really want to be in dialogue with the community. Usually, the museum is the one that produces a book, produces a catalog. In this instance, we're saying, no, we want to do it together with you. So we have an audience response room here where people can uh, share their thoughts, their reactions, even images that they have created. And we are wanting to incorporate this material into the book that will then come out of this exhibition. So uh, the entire community can be our co-authors in this process. These pieces may look whimsical, but they have a very literal application. Landscape, of course, forms you know, our sense of identity, our sense of place, who we are, where our ancestors came from, and where we as a community of individuals are going. So you know, it's, a, it's, a, it's a portal into places that you would not expect to necessarily encounter uh, in Western New York, but now you do. And you and your family have the special opportunity to visit the Anselm Kiefer exhibit as well as the entire rest of the museum for free this Friday. As the Albright Knox celebrates the M&T Bank first Friday of the month, the museum is open from 10 to 10 with various events throughout the day. But they're really hoping to get some more entries for that book. So go see the exhibit and then share your reflections. And that's usually unique because on first Fridays they don't always open up the whole museum, including those uh, special time only sort of events like this one. That's right. And they're doing this just so they can get some more of those uh, reflections from people but it's it's so hard to capture on screen how big these pieces are they're absolutely massive to look at and I think it's the kind of thing where if you, all ages can appreciate it if you bring even little guys I just staring up at it it's, it's just awe. We awe should have inspiring. found you a average size canvas so you could kind of hold it up for scale. So, yeah exactly <laughs> it's, it's hard to capture on screen so you have to go for free there's no reason not to go see on some kefir. All right well it's now